Hey everyone, so I got a battery rate test with the top flagship smartphones you released this year. So over here we have the OnePlus 3, the Galaxy S7 Edge, uh, the Galaxy Note 7, the LG G5, the iPhone SE, the HTC 10, and the Xperia X Performance. So for this first test, I'm going to have all of them on 50% brightness, uh, and I'll have Google Page up. Alright, so you see everything is on 50% brightness, and I'm going to turn off the lights for one second. So as you can see, adaptive brightness is turned off on all the phones. See, it is on 50% brightness. And I'm just going to have this up for 30 minutes. Of course, all these are on 100%. All of them have the Wi-Fi on. Oops. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'll check in in 30 minutes, see how they're doing. And it's a couple minutes in here, but worth noting that the X Performance, uh, it did have airplane mode on. However, the Wi-Fi was still activated. I just turned airplane mode off. Uh, so everything is completely even. And yeah, I'll check in in about 25 minutes. Just at 30 minutes, so let's have a look at the phones. So the OnePlus 3 is at 98% the S7 Edge is at 94% now I'm gonna get to that in a second because there is a little caveat to that uh, the Note 7 97% the LG G5 is actually still at 100% surprising there the X Performance, Xperia X Performance, see there is at 98%. HTC 10, 99%. And the iPhone SE, 100%. Alright guys, so just for, um, just for reference, so the Galaxy S7 Edge, this has been my main phone uh, since it came out in March. So I've had it for six months. Uh, I would say that probably the battery is going to be a little bit affected. Also, with these two phones, you see they uh, screen out after 10 minutes, so I have been doing that. Haven't allowed the screen to go out. Um, the Xperia X Performance has been my main work phone because Verizon doesn't support the Xperia phones. Uh, but yeah, so I'd say that the Galaxy S7 Edge Xperia X Performance I've used the most out of the phones, especially the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, for the other phones, I'd say that it's about even how much I've used them. So again, keep in mind that this might have a little bit of a battery. Uh, you know, the battery might not be quite as good just because I've been using it more. Alright, so next test. Let's see, let's do a game. We're going to do Asphalt 8. Uh, I'm going to put the brightness up to 100% on all the phones and yeah, I'll run up Asphalt 8. Here we go, Asphalt 8 loading up on all of them. So you see all these just running on their own. Uh, again guys, 30 minutes, I'll check in. About 30 minutes in now, so let's have another check in. So the OnePlus 3 is at 87%. Now so you guys can see that they're all on the maximum brightness. Galaxy S7 Edge is at 84%. Note 7. 90%. And just show you max brightness. Now the LG G5. Max brightness. And it is at 93%. So only on very well. Although the LG G5 screen uh, clearly doesn't get as bright as the other ones, so that's definitely a factor. Uh, the Xperia X Performance, max brightness, and it is at 84%. So X Performance not doing that great here. Uh, let's look at HC10. 
92% and max brightness and finally the iPhone SE and the iPhone SE honestly might win just because the screen is so small is at well, actually you can't see the max brightness I'd have to go into the settings but you see there 92% so for the next test we are going to do a streaming uh, I'm going to have YouTube streaming on all the devices going to have the volume up all the way on all these phones so it's going to get a little loud alright so I'm going to check in in 30 minutes uh, all these are on now 50% brightness and they're on maximum volume so it's been another 30 minutes. Uh, as you notice, I did put the volume down to about 50% on all these because it's giving me a bit of a headache. But let's go ahead and check in on the phones. So the OnePlus 3 is at 80%. Keep this on. Alright, um, the Galaxy S7 Edge is at 74 percent close out of that Galaxy Note 7 is at 84 percent the LG G5 is at 86 percent The Xperia X Performance is at 78%, is at 84%, and the iPhone SE is 85%. Alright guys, so one more test. So for this final test, we're going to be recording video for 30 minutes. Uh, all of these are on 1080p, 30 frames per second. Alright guys, so again, I'm going to check in in 30 minutes. Alright, so just going to wrap this up. Uh, now, I did end the test a few minutes early because some of the phones were running out of memory. But still around 25 minutes. Uh, so now, the last place phone was the Galaxy S7 Edge. And again, guys, keep in mind, I have used this phone for more than any of the phones you see here. Uh, I've been using it consistently for six months. But you see there at 62%. Uh, this does have a large battery, 3600 capacity, actually the largest of the bunch. And it has a 5.5 inch screen. So, again, guys, I have been using it the most. So, I wouldn't let the results of this, uh, you know, I wouldn't let it have a negative impact on your purchasing decision. So second to last place is also the phone that I've used the second most amount, which is the X Performance 64%. Uh, again, not a great result, but I have used this the second amount of all the phones here. Now I would say all the phones left, I've used them around an equal amount, so I think things should be pretty even here. Also worth noting that the Xperia X Performance does have the smallest battery of these, besides the iPhone SE of course. Uh, 2700 capacity but it also has one of the smallest screens at 5 inches and it's only 1080p so I think that it should have done a little better than it did um, next up is the HCC 10 so you see see there 71% and this has a 3000 capacity battery uh, 5.2 inch screen quad HD uh, next up is the iPhone, or rather OnePlus 3, which tied with the HTC 10. And you see there, 71%. So this has a 3000 capacity battery, a 5.5 inch quad HD screen. Next up is the iPhone SE. So 72%. Now this does have by far the smallest battery, uh, the battery size is only 1642 and it's only a 4 inch screen, low resolution. Uh, so I actually, I mean it, it should have done better than it did I would say for the iPhone SE. So now we start getting into the ones that did very well. Uh, the LG G5, so this did excellent, 74%.
And it also has a 5.3 inch screen, a 20, uh, 2800 capacity battery. So one of the smaller batteries. And the winner is actually the Galaxy Note 7. So really doing excellent, 74%. Actually, the LG 5, that's... All right, well, that's also 74%. Now, when I looked at this a second ago, the, uh, the Note 7 was at 75%, so I think it's very slightly ahead. Um, but regardless, excellent result. Has a 3,500 capacity battery, 5.7 inch screen. Uh, and as you guys saw during these tests, very bright screen. So yeah, guys, I would say that the Note 7, excellent job. Um, LG 5, I think, did pretty well, too, considering the size of the battery. I think I've used the um, S7 Edge and the Xperia X performance a little too much for it to mean much. Uh, but at least for the X performance, I think it should have done a little bit better. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.